Hi there, Brendan here from RB Reviews. Today I'll be talking about the 2002 release of M. Night Shyamalan's Signs. The film is about the Hess family who lives in Bucks County, Pennsylvania. They wake one morning to discover a crop circle in their farm field and begin to instantly dismiss it as hoax or circumstance or, you know, just random hoodlums giving them a hard time. But as the rest of the world begins to find crop circles all around mysteriously, it begins to sink in that this is in fact real, that this is in fact a real alien invasion. And so the Hess family deals with it in their own small, unique M. Night Shyamalan sort of way. Mel Gibson plays the title character of Graham Hess, the former preacher who's since lost his faith. Um, Joaquin Phoenix plays his brother Merrill in um, what I think is the best performance in the movie. Uh, Mel Gibson's character of Graham is, he's really disjointed and he doesn't, he isn't really a father to his children in the sense that he should be during this really impactful moment. I mean, he's sort of almost selfish in a certain way, but he does want, he, he does want to protect his family. He is a family man. He keeps certain things from them. But the death of his wife completely ruined him. I mean, you, you open the movie with just a completely empty man. And one of the best shots, I think, is in the opening where, th uh, where Graham is brushing his teeth and you just see... Um, where a crucifix once hung on the wall. And it, it just says volumes about the character that dialogue and exposition couldn't tell you. It's just great. And um, the character of Merrill, um, he is uh, Graham Hess's brother who uh, decided to come live with him after the death of his wife. And um, Joaquin Phoenix is my favorite performance out of all the films he's on. I thought he was fantastic in Gladiator, but in Science he just gives um, a beautifully almost comedic. He is, he is the comic relief of this movie. Shyamalan's movies do have a lot of levity in them, and um, a lot of it comes from um, Joaquin Phoenix's character as well as the children. Um, I can't remember who plays the boy in this movie, but the little girl is played by Abigail Breslin, and um, both kids are fantastic. Usually, um, child actors in movies are usually um, miss for me, you know, and this one, it just hit it out of the park. These kids do a great job in this flick. Um, they have some of the best performances and some of the most sympathetic um, you really feel like they are a family, that um, Mel Gibson's character is in fact their father. Um, with um, Mel Gibson being such a big actor, you kind of wonder if a somewhat unknown actor would have had a better time playing this role, but Mel Gibson does a perfect job. Um, his character really almost doesn't want to believe it's an alien until he's confronted in one scene where he can find out whether or not it is in fact aliens that are invading. And his character gets the shock of a lifetime. Now, the suspense and scares in this movie are perfect. Um, out of all the alien invasion movie, Science gives one of the most startling sequences ever captured on film, in my opinion, and it is um, a scene where Joaquin Phoenix's character is watching the news broadcast, and they show footage of an alien, you know, walking around in, I, I believe, Brazil? I want to say it's Brazil. Maybe they're all speaking Portuguese. But, um, yeah, that when, I, when I saw that in the theater, I jumped like... 10 feet in the air. I mean, my parents took me, me and my brother were both very young and, you know, weren't exactly deluded to the horror-going experience, but um, Shyamalan's uh, scares in this film are particularly great. Um, there isn't really a big twist ending like um, Six Signs or, um, actually, Unbreakable, I don't even think had that. Well, Unbreakable did have a big twist, but um, this... What science does is it gives a very human story, I think, and it simply uses the alien invasion story to um, make uh, the Graham Hess's personal journey a little more interesting. Um, the film is just beautifully shot. Um, as usual, um, I, I have nothing against Shyamalan, but um, this is my favorite film by him. I think um, if you haven't seen a Shyamalan film, check out Signs. You know, everyone knows the end of The Sixth Sense, you know. We're not going to talk about that movie. I think that's an overrated one, but Signs is perfectly shot. Um, I only wish it was a little longer. It feels like I've seen it so many times, the movie just goes boom, 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 goes right by you. Um, the scares now are, like I said, just great. The suspense, particularly one scene where Graham Hess is out in the cornfield looking around. And, you know, Shyamalan does some very cliche horror movie things, but he, he reinvents them in his own way that it does make it unique and scary. Which I thought, you know, was great because you're completely cringing, but you know what the cliche is. And Mel Gibson's character is out there in the cornfield in the middle of the night. He knows something is out there, but he still has to go out and just check. Just be sure, you know. Goes out there with a flashlight, drops the flashlight, picks it up. It doesn't work. Turns it on. Boom. Alien. Right there. You see him, like, walk into the corn. Really creepy scene, but absolutely cliche. We've seen it done in horror movies hundreds of times, but Shyamalan reinvents it makes it seem interesting because he gives us real characters. The character of Graham has feels real. His family 
feels like a real family. I mean, the way they make decisions. I mean, um, the character of Meryl is great, particularly when you see his character kind of folding into the kid's idea that these aliens are here to kill us. And, you know, maybe they are, maybe they aren't. Watch the movie, you'll find out what these aliens are all about. But the, the cliches, really, the reinvention of the cliches, I thought, did, was a terrific job by um, Shyamalan, who usually does put those in his movies. I mean, he does put things in there we've seen a billion other times, but he does it in his own way, because he gives us characters we can connect with. Now, I come from a background of, you know, a lot of a lot of church going, but I'm not going to put get into the religion too much here. But um, which just made it a lot. I think people of faith will be able to connect to this movie um, instantly. I mean, signs the title refers to both the signs we see in life. You know, are the are they mere coincidence or is this in fact all destiny? And also, you know, the signs in the crop fields refers to. And I, I think I I really like that dual meaning because um, the movie does. In fact, if you were to separate into two stories, there's a story going on with Graham Hess, and there's a story going on with the alien invasion. And they kind of run parallel together. And I loved it, even in, you know, some of the scenes, like, even particularly towards the end, like, Mel Gibson's character just is like, he's, he's, he's really beaten down. He, he, he doesn't, he does not look for the best in every situation. I don't think Gibson hasn't really played a character like this in a long time. And, you know, I'm looking forward to the release of Edge of Darkness. Hopefully we can get a review up there for you guys and everything. But if you haven't seen Signs, check it out. Some of the great scares. Um, one of my favorite horror films of the last decade. If you can count it as horror, but it's one of my favorite films, period, of the last decade, in fact. Um, terrific job by all around. Um, thanks a lot for watching, guys.